Blast those Team Plasma and their bone-stealing ways. We gotta go get Lenora's bones back. Um, so we're gonna meet Berg right outside of the pinwheel forest here. And then we're gonna head on in. But remember, you can talk to that nurse just outside if ever you get weak during your trek through the pinwheel forest. Anyway, here he is. There's two ways out, the way that goes straight, and then the way that goes through the woods. He's gonna take the straight road. If they're not there, he'll block the exit. And then he's gonna tell you to take the other route, for Lenora's sake. Do it for Lenora! Alright, so you can go north and fight some trainers if you want, but that's not necessary. You can fight them later, too. One, two, one, two, etc., etc. We'll discuss what to do during a battle. Oh yeah, well I can take on both of you, just, just, just me! Yeah, I don't need, I don't need a twin for that. Yeah, I can, I can take you both on. Um, these two have, they each have a Siwaddle. Siwaddle? So Siwaddle? So, so whatever it is, that funky, cute, little bug leafy thing. Um, it's a bug grass type, similar to Paris from the old games. And that's really annoying if you started with Snivy, because it's double resistant to your grass type attacks. And it can use, like, Bug Bite, I think. So this is not a fun battle if you start it with Snivy, trust me. Ah, uh, let's see. At least it probably isn't. Not a fun battle anyway. Darn, Seawaddle. I'm gonna call it Seawaddle. Two of us keep timing together. Ah! Oh, don't cry. Okay, so... Head on over here and we'll find the first member of Team Plasma, you stubborn brat! You're not gonna be able to chase us anymore. Yeah, no, I'm done with you. Okay, I'm gonna show him just what it's like to be awesome, because this guy has no concept of what it's like. Although he does have a sand aisle, and you have not seen a sand aisle yet. At least you probably haven't. Unless you were trading or something with other players. How dare you! Um, it's a dark ground type, making it rather interesting as far as typing goes. Shouldn't be too much of a problem for you early on in the game, um, at least at this point, because, you know, Duat and Servine are going to be just fine against it while you're Pig Knight. Well, it's a fighting type. It can totally just, like, kick it or arm thrust it or something. Alright, so, that was a little bit of a pain. Come on, Hope. Level up already. There we go. Alright. Come on, you're just a kid. A kid on an ego trip! Yeah, I'm on an ego trip, baby. Too bad I haven't got anything. You're just gonna have to look for my associates. Oh yeah, am I? Alright, so that didn't go quite so well, so I'm just gonna go outside the forest, talk to that nurse, and then heal. You might find yourself doing this a few times, but it's way quicker than going back to the Pokemon Center, so keep that in mind. Anyway, moving right along here. My, my, could you be looking for something? Hmm, I'm looking for you! And I'm looking for Lenora's Dragon Bones! No one steals Dragon Bones on my watch. No. Okay, so she has a Purloin on her team. It's level 16. You should be more than familiar with these things by now. Okay. Yeah, Fury Swipes. Just watch it hit like- Oh wow, it only hit two times. Huh, go figure. How often does that happen? What's with everything using Sand Attack on me? Jeez! There we go. Yeah, critical hit now. Oh yeah, I'm just flat out jealous because of their cool outfits, so she says. Sorry, I'm empty handed. Better try somewhere else. Yeah, well, whatever. Okay, so up here, there's a Pokemon Ranger. He's not the stylus wheelin' kind. Or the, uh, oh, what is that thing called? The, the, oh, I don't know. I don't play the Pokemon Ranger game, sorry. Um, the, oh, whatever it is. Anyway, he has the, um, he has a Herdier on his team. Those are such a pain because they, they have, such strong attacks, and they do so much damage, it's just not fun. So I'm gonna just try and... I'm gonna switch for something a little bit more capable of taking it out. Judo Mario! 
Yeah, you can take down this thing all day. Come on, why don't you? It's just gonna vital throw you in the face. Oh man, you're still hitting pretty hard. It's such a pain. It just really messes with my day, you know? This really flips my burger. I just... Oh, Forrest. <laughs> Run, Forrest! Uh, uh, sorry, okay. Terrible joke, but it's a good movie still. Anyway, after beating Pokemon Ranger Forest, he'll give you a Chesto Berry, um, which will heal your Pokemon from sleep if you have it equipped. I'm gonna go back and heal with the nurse, because that's good. Oh, look, Shaking Grass! Okay. Darn it! Why does that always happen? If you, um, yeah. If you step on, you know, the, the grass and, yeah, you don't get to go to the Shaking Grass afterwards, so... If you really want to get to that shaking grass, you need to use a repel or something. So this big honking thing is a venipede. And it is a poison bug type. Similar typing as like Weedle and Wormple, but it looks way messed up, yo. It's a fairly good Pokemon. Not the best. I think you're a little better off with Seawaddle personally. But if you're looking for a poison type, well, venipede does have that. Um, let's see. I'm gonna try catch it, because I like to catch Pokemon. That's what this game is about, after all. Let's see how this does. Go, Pokeball! <laughs> um, okay, well that was relatively uneventful. Gotcha! Venipede was caught. Big ol' honking thing. Eight centipedes. Ugh. Brutally aggressive, too. Man. Okay, so, over here, there is a big root. Now, this is a big root, but what it does is it makes it so you absorb more hit points from, like, uh, I think Leech Seed and Mega Drain and Giga Drain. So, there's actually some Pokemon around here that use those attacks, and your Servine, if you started with Snivy, probably has Mega Drain and maybe even Leech Seed. So, that may be a good replacement instead of the Miracle Seed, if you like healing. But it's not necessary. Oftentimes the extra damage you do with the Miracle Seed is still better in the long run. So here's one of those Seawaddles. And it's a good Pokémon, because it's a Bug Grass type, but it knows some really good attacks as it levels up. Including like Leaf Blade and- oh darn it, okay. Uh, Leaf Blade and Bug Bite has some good stats. I recommend catching one if you don't have, like, a grass type or something already. There are plenty of grass types to catch in this forest, so you really need to consider it carefully. But I like, I like Suwaddle a lot. I think it's a good, good one. It's a good bug type, too. It's really good. Okay, so I caught that thing. It wasn't too much of a pain or anything. Okay, give a nickname, yeah. Alright, oh. What do we got here? Eh? Oh, there's one of the other grass-type Pokémon in this forest. Now, you'll only find Petalil if you're playing Pokémon White. If you're playing Pokémon Black, you're gonna find Cottony instead. I think I messed that up in the last episode, or one of those episodes, but... Oh well. Now you can see. <laughs> However, you can catch one of these and then trade it for the other one in, um, Nacrian City. So that can be rather nice if you want to use the other one. You can only do this once, though, but it's still a good option if you want to use the other version's grass type. Both Petalil and um, uh, Cottony are pretty good, especially once they evolve. If I had to pick between the two, I'd say Lilligant is much better in-game. But Whimsicott, the evolution of Cottony, is also really good. Yeah, Lilligant evolves from Petalil. You can evolve either of these by using a, I think a sunstone on them. Yeah, definitely a sunstone. Um, and you can get those later on, but not too late in the game, don't worry. I think as soon as you get to, I think Nimbasa City. Anyway, um, either are a great Pokemon to catch if you need a grass type, so go ahead and catch them. Uh, Siwaddle is also really good too. It evolves into Levani, so really just trying to decide which one you want. Now this is being just a pain to catch. Look at what this stupid grass type's doing to my flying type. No one messes with my bird, haven't you learned that already? Jeez. Okay, so I'm gonna try and catch this darn thing and 
Finally, I catch it. No one should have to spend that much time trying to catch a stupid old petalo. No, I'm sorry. I'm just taking out my ambient aggression on you. You poor bulb-type Pokemon. Bulb thing. Okay, so... Petalo caught. I need to go back and heal because of that darn thing. And I'm right back to where I was. And we're gonna continue here. Okay, so there's a super potion there. And, um... Now, I think there's something you can get if you walk down that path. I just failed to show it because I'm not awesome like that. Yes. But you can use your dowsing machine. I recommend having your dowsing machine on while you're going through the forest because you'll find a lot of stuff. Just trust me on that. It's always good to have your dowsing machine on while you're playing through the game because you'll find a lot of things I'm not going to point out in here because, you know, I'm recording. I can barely see a lot of this stuff. It's hard to find. And it gives you a sense of adventure. Don't you want that sense of adventure? Yeah, you do. Come on, don't lie. You know you do. So this guy here, he has a he has a venipede and a timber on his team. And that's just great for my uh for for that thing right there, my P dove. Yeah, that's right. You're gonna bide? Huh? Is that it? Is that all you're gonna do? Okay, well, be my guest. I'm just gonna air cutter you next turn. Oh yeah. How do you like that? Critical hit. Oh yeah, no less. Hey, did you see my Pokemon strong points? Did you, did you, did you, huh, huh, huh? No, I didn't. Okay, so we're gonna actually explore the rest of Pinwheel Forest on the next episode, since it's a little bit long. 